And thank you for joining us today on Black Investments Matter. I'm Antoine Anderson, and today we're going to be talking about Coin Tracker. We're going to show you how to add a file or files to Coin Tracker for easier report generation during tax time so you can get all your deposits and your figures correct so you don't underpay or overpay on your taxes. One of the big changes this year in the world of crypto is taxation. Um, the federal government is now requiring that we report those crypto funds. Hadn't really done that in those different years, but they are going after those funds. They want their cut. Um, to that extent, crypto assets, depending on the type of transaction you've done, can generate a taxable event, which has to be reported on a certain form, Form 8949 or your 1099s. You're going to have to report those movements. And if you've made a little bit of money, you're going to generate some, some, some um, taxes. Now, how you get all those exchanges and wallets together, all that information can be a little tedious process. But Coinbase this year has partnered up with Coin Tracker. And what Coin Tracker does is allow you to add those wallets into one convenient place and generate those forms for you. Um, we'll walk through the process right now. Once you go to Cointracker.com or .io, there you're gonna see the dashboard there, right? From the dashboard, it gives you everything that you have in your wallets. Now, to get this information, you're gonna click on the button in the upper left, add wallet. After you get there, it's gonna ask you what type of wallet you have. Now they have a list here just by clicking in that field, and whether you're a lay, um, ledger wallet, it does your hardware address wallets, public addresses, if you have like those scan barcodes, um, Coinbase, Binance, Kraken, and the like. Um, even if you don't see yours there, maybe they will search, for instance, like a poll. Look at there, there it is. Click on it. You have an option to do an API sync. I'm not a real fan of those just yet. The jury's still out on it. I guess it's a great tool, but for me, an easier bet, safer bet, is to do a file export of a .csv file. Now we'll get into what a CSV file is and how you add it from your different wallets. Uh, very timely information in another video. But once you get that CSV file, just by clicking browse and finding your uphold file, click it, it's ready to import. You hit that button, import, and after it processes, may take a couple of minutes you go to your dashboard and you'll see all your wallets added in a nice convenient place you can know, click on wallets i've added my coinbase uphold and my coinbase pro wallets here it's that easy what that does is gives you a nice snapshot of all the transactions click wallet and transactions that you've done Thus far, it tells you how much you've lost when it was imported, all the types of information you need. And once that's done, go to the tax center and it'll give you a snapshot of what's going on and what you're going to owe and end up paying. Now, they have different price values or price options, um, and you get only a few. Uh, how should I say discounts? Um, or not discounts. You only you get about three thousand different transactions before you go over your limit. And if you ever want to use this information for your tax reports, like I've exceeded my limit here on the tax report, by clicking upgrade, you can find out how much you're going to have to pay to get some of these different things. I've got three thousand Coinbase and Coinbase Pro transactions that I can um, use. Some of us will be using way more than that. Others, maybe not so much, but it's an all around great tool and it helps you report your taxes correctly. Something I think you should all look into. Again, Black Investments Matter is not tax or financial advice at all. This is a how-to video on how to import those files. 
by simply going to your dashboard as a recap, click add wallet, click the wallet type or search for it. I prefer find file imports and CSV files. Again, we'll talk about that in another video. Browse it. Put your file in there and hit the import button. Thank you for watching. Please consider joining our Facebook group, Black Investments Matter, and also visiting the blackinvestmentsmatter.com website. Please hit like and subscribe at the bottom of this video.